All right, folks, I couldn't get this to blow up full size without going over to uh, the war room itself over on Rumble. Uh, Carrie Lake has her own um, app now, and uh, that way people can get a hold of her as well uh, in case they knock her off because uh, she's getting a lot of, um, I guess you would call opposition from the left-wing media. But uh, if y'all remember, if you've been on my station, my channel very long, I played you a full version with the exception of the conversation about the selections of this whole uh, interview with this uh, Australian guy on my other channel a uh, month ago, a month, I guess I'd say three weeks ago. And uh, at any rate, um, I give you, I also played a compilation with some cut up pieces of the video here on this channel as well. Carrie Lake compilation uh, down below in my uh, videos on my, uh, on my channel. But, um, this here is a cut-up version that Australia actually put out to their people uh, once they finally uh, let it go to air on their television. And uh, it is such a shame um, uh, that uh, it is going this way. But uh, that just shows you what a liar the media is. You just go back and watch them a couple of videos or go watch the whole entire video over on Rumble on Carrie Lake's webpage over there or uh, site over there. And uh, you see it's about 30 minutes long. Uh, the version that you get here for 60 minutes is just minutes long. They cut it up. They chopped it up. They didn't give her her, her say. They did their best to try to her, make her look like the uh, the obnoxious one in the room. But at any rate, let me go ahead and get this video. Check it out, folks. Counting well, you as. Well, that's not no, true you, at you all. Guys, that's not true no, at all. You've you've Curry, called, no, you've called Curry, our election. No, you've called our election. Let's be fair on this. Let's be fair on this. Your man you've Donald. called our election the big lie. Your man you've Donald called? brought it up. Your man Donald said only Why a few. Why did you say that, sir? What, be, Your man Donald? Well, well, he is. I mean, he's endorsed you personally. He well, said he said a few days ago that those people at the Capitol should be pardoned. They should all be pardoned. Do you think they should be pardoned? I'm still amazed that you say your man Donald. That's just so disrespectful. Well, well, why, why would it be? He's endorsed you. He, you have his personal endorsement. It's just, it's just a flippant attitude. It's obvious that you've come into this. It's obvious you've come into to this interview and you don't like President Donald Trump. K Kari. It's obvious. Well, do you think they should be pardoned? Do you think they should be pardoned? I, I have no say in that. I'm running for governor. This isn't something a governor does. You're well, trying to twist this interview not at and all. trying to make me look bad. You're a Republican. I, he's I, the, Republi I, he's the Republican leader. What I don't like is that people are being held in prison without being charged. That's un-American. Maybe they get away with that stuff in Australia. Australia. Perhaps in Australia, because you've given your rights away, you melted down all of your guns, and you guys have no freedom, that you find that okay. But here in America, we do things differently. We have something called the U.S. Constitution, and we have rights. So we'd be better off having more guns here. I mean, what, you would be better off? Yeah, you would. You absolutely would, sir. You absolutely would. I feel so sorry for the people in Australia. Have no power. The only thing keeping us from being Australia right now is our Second Amendment. And we will never ever let that go. Mark my words. What we saw happening in Australia, where you have internment camps and people are being forced, if they've encountered anybody with COVID, to be locked into a quarantine camp, is the most horrifying thing I think I've ever seen a government do. Would it's it, frightening. And if you, if you can't see that, I feel sorry for you. Would it have been better? This is our last question, Liam. We have to run, but thank you for your time. Just, just answer me this one question. One, one more thank question, you. Kari. Uh, well, no, I've already told wait. you we're done. Thank well, you so well, much. Just... That guy's a complete nut. Seriously, a complete insane person. <laughs> that is the Australian version of 60 Minutes. That's, I think, their biggest news yeah. show. The great Car Carrie Lake. Wow. <laughs> Tell us about that. Tell us what that happened. That was, I've done a lot of interviews, Steve, and not everyone's as fair as you are. You want to get to the truth and you just ask honest questions. This guy came into it with a raging case, uh, stage four Trump derangement syndrome. And I did answer his question. I answered it three times. He didn't like the answer I gave him because he couldn't cut it and splice it the way he wanted. So he kept asking the same question. Um, if you want to see the full interview unedited, go to my Rumble page, Carrie Lake Rumble.
K-A-R-I-L-A-K-E. It is the craziest interview. I think he's a complete lunatic. And he is, uh, it shows me that the global media is just as bad, if not worse, than the corrupt corporate media here. You're going to start, ha- here's what, you're so good about doing this because you're a pro. You've been doing this, what, 20 years, 25 years. The, that's why the Arizona Republic, when you publish, when you give them an editorial, they're not going to publish it. Because the reporters are going to understand they can't go toe-to-toe with Carrie Lake, right? Because she, she, you can blow these folks up. I mean it. You, you can blow. There's an, I don't know there's a news person out there to come in and go mano a mano with you in a ring. You're that good. You're that good. I've only got a couple well, uh, minutes, but I've got to get something. Well, I'll I know. But they're the going to continue to take. You, you are running for governor of Arizona, and you got the situation in Ukraine. In Arizona, just get us up to date on the invasion on the southern border. The border that we should be maniacally focused on, and we are here at the War Room, is the southern border of our beloved republic. What's the current status there, Kerry uh, Lake? That was a perfect way of saying it. This is our country. We're being invaded. And it, it pains me to see all of the attention that our lawmakers are putting on a border half a world away. And it's not that I don't feel for the people of Ukraine. But damn it, I feel for the people of Arizona. And we have people pouring across this border unvetted. We have drugs, CCP, uh, fentanyl. That is, that comes from the CCP up through the narco terrorist cartels into Arizona. And we have child trafficking happening, and our crime is spiking here in Arizona. And we're not going to sit around and take it. And that's why my border policy, my border plan called Defend Arizona, has us doing exactly that. We, the people of Arizona, will defend our state, and it's right there in the Constitution. We're we're able to do that. Article One, Section Ten. When the federal government fails us, if we have an invasion. We can protect ourselves, and that's what I'm going to do on day one when I'm elected as governor here in Arizona. But they're trying to keep us away from what's really happening. You know, our our elections are a complete nightmare. We are going into another election, and we still have a problem down here in Arizona and other states, and that's why I filed this amicus brief last week, Steve, because I want to make sure that our uh, Supreme Court takes a look at our elections before we go into this next round. Right now, the way we're voting in Arizona, we believe is unconstitutional. It does not line up with what our founders in Arizona put into our Constitution. Carrie, uh, real quickly, how do people, what activities can people catch you on this week? What, are you giving any big speeches? Where can people find you? Well, I've got a lot going on this week. Uh, today I'm doing a roundtable on the fentanyl crisis. Of course, this is all heading up from China. China's bringing it into Mexico. It's flowing through Arizona in in an attempt to weaken and destroy this country. So we have that. That's with uh, Congressman Gosar's office, and that's in Goodyear. Um, I've got so much going on this week. I'm going to be actually out of town as well. I'll put some stuff on my website. Go to kerrylake.com. You can find it all there. And how how do people find out more about your campaign? Right there, kerrylake.com. Of course, you can follow me. I'm on Truth Social. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and I've got a new app. You know, I I worked with some of the good guys in tech to get a new app because I know that eventually Twitter, Facebook, they're all probably going to take people like me and cancel us like they did with President Trump. So you can find my new app at the App Store or the Google Play Store. Just look it up under Carrie Lake, K-A-R-I-L-A-K-E. Okay, now we're going to put up and make sure the entire interview goes up with 60 Minutes Australia. It's it's incredible, and I want to show